one two. Two 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 one two. Proper framing. Um, today, I want to put it something that then you were an experience. If I were to play this stage, fly around the level or something like that, you know, and look around, and it's kind of convenient because if I don't press any of these input keys, like that first half of Know, what's looking around our wonderful environment is uh, pretty much solved. Right? We just need to look. Um, at the point in six, when it's are all these facing the wrong way. Mm, I've been thinking about it, and I think this, like. Style object, uh, using physical rendering, probably gonna be the way to go. You wanna add a little more fidelity to all the apps that we And I'll be doing that in on and off times, but I figure today, in the interest thing with just using Unreal, I'm going to do a little bit of scripting. And that'll be scripting of player camera. So if I hit play, I can't remember how to like eject from the player as it's running. There's simulate. But here we go, this yeah. And so what this does is it creates like a player object. Right? Default pawn. And default pawn has On input component, the movement component, and kind of what I'm expecting is the camera, right? Are you the camera actor we're looking for? I don't think so. If I were to possess, well maybe it is. No, that camera actor looks like it's a little bit lower. Anyway, the short of it is we're gonna need cinematic. We're gonna set up um, cameras that travel along path. Um, let me change the orientation. 
player starts facing in that direction, and so on and so forth. Um, there are it's our Monday stream. Thank you, uh, Nightbot, for keeping it hot. Uh, uh, uh. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Fine by me. But I do need cinematic stuff. Cinema camera actor. Specialized to work like a cinematic. I have a normal camera. Yeah. I'm gonna need normal cameras. Loop in this world. And each scene um that we work with is going to be built off of kind of animated events. Um and those things are kind of animated by the nature of this guy. So let's I guess add a level sequence. Matinee is full pool. What is the difference between a master sequence and a level? Alright. A game master. I want any folder. Alright. Something that you can do in your end. Neat. Is, is hope and pray for additional display. Um, one thing that we can do is switch between multiple camera actors. Um, I want to access an object. Choose actor camera. I believe that's that. Yep. Sweet. That's pretty simple, right? We've added this act sequence, and then all we gotta do is change the position of the sky over. Uh, sounds fun. So I don't really want to change location specifically now. Hey, it's the tour. I think the sound is going out. Uh, let me double check that. Because I see myself coming through here, but I, I also could be just speaking very quietly. I have a tendency to do that when I don't think anyone's listening. Oh, shoot. I hear it. That gate is too strong. You. You just come down. Get the heck. Yeah. Maybe that's better. That's, yeah, I can see where it's going below the decibels, gate, threshold, can I make it even lower? Lower. Yeah? Even better? I don't know. Let me know if that works. I'll try it again. Might be a headset issue, cutting in and out. Eh, I hope it. Goofing in stereo. Ah, uh, gosh. Uh, soft. Soft? Soft? Auto? Can I just not use it? Can I avoid the gate altogether? And hope that that works? <sighs> well, good news is, we're going to be swapping out that system. For something that we understand a bit better in this building by the name of a Pro Tools type. So hopefully that's better. I'll still try and orient the mic in a reasonable way. So in my timeline editor here, whatever this is called, that is uh, a level sequence. Hey, all right. Um, I can pretty much. See, can I change the scale to? Time instead of because it's basically going 
30 frames per second, 50 frames per second. Oh, I guess I can look at it in terms of one second. That's pretty useful. Um, and so the core neuron is to have timed sequences and events that are mostly triggered through material properties and matinee. Um, using, or not matinee, I'm just going to call it that because that's what I thought it was. Um, Remember, we do have a tournament coming up pretty soon. So if we meant post for telling me about it, putting it up in the chat. But hopefully that'll, that'll, there's a, uh, that one is. My sunglasses aren't able to hold it back. I'm trying to get that grease together. Let's use the, use this thing as a mirror really quick. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> anyway, duck nerd. Let's um, add some keyframes. So I don't really want to mux with the rotation of this very much. I actually want the player to control the rotation of the camera using their mouse or using a head-mounted display. Is kind of the uh, the core feat. So I'm not going to do that. I will add a new key to the location track. Just to be able to hit a shortcut key for that. Um, right now I'm just going to press this little key button. So the first key will be here, and we're just going to do really basic locked out animation. Let's say it takes four seconds, five seconds, why not? Some good even numbers. We're going to move the camera the heck whoop, down, the, down this path. And add another key. Cool. So now when I play the sequence, so, bloop, camera will move through this row. Pretty useful. Playing, pause, uh, step forward, back. I think I can press a space while I'm playing, pause it. Um, the cool thing about this is set like setting up this big clock animation is I can actually have control points between these areas. Um, but you'll notice, um, and it'll kind of be hard to see actually. So what I want to do, maybe, I don't know if it plays on a way it does do. Let's find our pet scene, but buddy. And I want you to just autoplay regular speed. And I want you to loop uh, indefinitely. Cool. Save that. So if playing this, there's my ball that has to physically an eject scene. I can't see my camera. It's an invisible actor. No. Um, I think there's a way to make it visible. If I select it, you can the transform of the thing. Um, I was going to just turn something to it. But the idea is, yes, that's working. That's cool. But what's not working? is even though that camera actor is moving through the scene we're not actually attached to it and i thought you could just i could just put in a camera and like tell it to go you know <clears throat> so that's kind of useless let's uh see if i can maybe parent this object back so my scene over here in my outliner kind of a mess Right. Um, I want to maybe organize it a little bit better. It seems like there are a bunch of things here already that help. Um, so I'll just kind of use their naming convention, even though if everyone's an actor, then no one's an actor, right? I put all that way we can hide and show them, but more important, get them the heck out of the way. While I try and negotiate fog, yeah, screen reflection capture. So I have a sphere, that guy that falls. Reflection. Uh, level sequences. Yeah, I mean, this is stuff that we're working on right now. Landscape gizmo act. 
ish. Not, not despite it. But I have a camera actor and I have this gear. I really wanted to just nail it down. Um, can I just parent it by doing that? You betcha. Sweet. So the cool thing about that. Now, this guy's gonna do its thing. Hit play. Whoa, and it probably should have. Uh, you. Tell me about that simulate physics button. Alright. Simulate. So now I can see the position of the. Uh, using that sphere. Super cool. You can see that it eases in and out, right? Starts up kind of slow. Moves at a pretty normal pace, then. Uh, squeezes its position there at the end. And that's a little goofy. Not unlike my audio, but um, you know, that's what's up. So we're going to attach the player to that. So. Um, but not the player start. So we're gonna have to do a couple of things with blueprints to maybe just attach the player to that camera, or maybe set the player camera to that camera. We have a couple of options, right? and uh, I'm gonna find out the best way to do that. First, I wanna hear from you. Tell me about your weekend. Uh, oh. If you're, if you're unaware, we got we got the launch tournament. I'm gonna go to uh, SoundCloud and listen to my feed until somebody suggests music, because that's the thing that we do on this. Is uh, we listen news. What is have? What the crap? Never mind. Um. And like the first, uh, first person that I recognize, I do recognize her. Ah. Do it. Did you friends? I'm gonna have some background things up. Crispy rice treats are delicious. Good, good. Get some tunes up. Alright, so that's working. Um, let's get the heck out of this simulation. Maybe let's try, uh, construction script for one of these guys. Um, there isn't really one for the player, but I guess I can add a script. Why not? So I'll create that. Oh, right! An Unreal process is crashed! Oh 
I did. See this error of Unreal all the time. Um, if you like move an object over, in the case of this guy here, right? um, I just want to do yourself. So in order to rebuild lighting, just build menu over here. You can build lighting only. Control this semicolon. Like that. That actually takes. We don't have a lot of assets in the scene that require like light maps. Um, that require light maps. I mean, they're probably what a dozen of them. Anything that's in the match actors. Thing. Building lighting. Lighting build completed. Please. All it does is just make a shortcut for our scene to go. Oh yeah, no, that was good. That was fun. Thank you. Uh, that's that. Um, little errors. I don't know. I like to make sure that I launch with the uh, few errors as possible, but also that lighting in and of itself. Right. right. So let's go for two, because I do want a blueprint on this object. Yeah, just, you know, what? Camera actor, yeah. You're the one. Hey, it worked. So the construction script is not what I want. Here we go. So I want the events graph. Construction script, those are scripts that you can actually... This is so good trying to talk, talk shit. I don't know, this is what people are listening to. I don't know how many thousands of people are into this. Uh, the original God. Do it. Better watch out when I get what I want. Cause I'm gonna flaunt, yeah, I'm gonna stunt. I'm smoking the blunt. I'm worried about nothing. Better watch out when I get what I want. Cause I'm gonna flaunt, yeah, I'm gonna stunt. I'm gonna do. So a blue, a construction script is what happens. Better watch out when I get what I want. Cause I'm gonna fly, yeah, I'm gonna stunt. But what I wanna do is on the beginning part. Better watch out when I get what I want. Cause I'm gonna fly, yeah, I'm gonna stunt. I'm smoking the blunt. I'm worried about nothing. Fishermen got bitches up on my line. They used to swerve, they wanted the jocks. Now they want my car. I tell them to stop. Watching my videos, thinking we met. Bitch, that's a bet. Tell your boyfriend, get the check. I got some merch you can get. Don't wanna fuck, I want head. Better okay. watch out when I get what I want. Cause I'm gonna fly, yeah, I'm gonna stunt. I'm smoking the blunt. I'm worried about nothing. Better watch out when I get what I want. Maybe Cause I I'm gonna fly, yeah, I'm gonna guys, stunt. But... I'm smoking the blunt. I'm worried about nothing. Better watch out when I get what I want. Cause I'm gonna fly, yeah, I'm gonna stunt. I'm smoking the blunt. I'm worried about nothing. Better watch out when I get what I want. Cause I'm gonna fly, yeah, I'm gonna stunt. Smoking the blunt. Broken heart, guy. Target the player. The level starts, and I want the parent to be a reference. And I'm not sure that I need to uh, worry too much. Hmm. 
You really thought you had a chance. Rotation rule. That. Oh, let's see what the effect of this. Hopefully it works. Laugh about it all day. Document potion, it is up to you to define the slang of tomorrow. Remember that. So hit play. Can move the player, no. And I think what's probably the point is to do it. I bet that. Yeah. Oh. What happened to my camera, guy? Okay. What about you? Why aren't you playing that, uh, that thing? Oh wow, it didn't save a lot of my change. Hold on. Shows me how often I save. Yeah, this is an attack to that. And this thing is still simulating physics. And stuff. I will find the slang. I can barely hear you. You're like DJ whispers. I'm just, I don't want to scare you with my booming voice, so I speak as slowly as possible. As quietly as necessary, like whatever. I can tell it's going super well. Choose world. Okay, I'm curious about this. Where is my cinematic editor?
Well, I can. Pretty good. I want this object to have any effect. This is that experience, right? We're moving forward in that long list. We can change that by adjusting, as you would in many other tools, the behavior of each of these curves, right? Um, so I can actually make this linear. And what that will do is get rid of this smooth interpolation where it comes to a hard stop that moves that constant rate from point A to point. Useful, definitely. Super necessary to understand. I like to think so. Why can't I dock my seat center? Whatever. Yeah, DJ whispers. Anyway. So that is a funny good start. I also get oh, they're just like you're not you're not you're not serious, are you? Alright, that's fine. I don't dress like celebrities, but I'm looking like I'm the next star. Gonna pull up in the excited thing with all red paint. I ride like I don't care who you think you are, cause I'm OPM with just one bar. But I'm hand drawn straight nineties with it. How you think player. you would've came this far? I don't I don't dress I like celebrities, movement. but I'm looking like uh, I'm the next So the target is going to be the player again, player zero. I'm not sure if player zero will work. Oh, maybe I can get the player moving the phone. Take a dump on my enemies. My boys are probably going to put the pump on my enemies. I done said too much. The feds probably watching. Skinny wallet, so I got to maneuver with caution. Yeah, it's all about a Benjamin. Now, Melon Dan, but they still believe the story to be selling them. Yeah, but she to me. Oh, 
On a Skype call, your dirty knees will be your downfall. Link gold, but the attitude is LeBron. You ain't the king of this court. Mm-hmm. You ain't the king of this court. I'll be out here exploring. Most stay in the court. I go stir crazy if I don't get no shot. I swear this gang got more issues than that Geo. Kissing everywhere, I feel like I'm the only Leo. Mission's far behind me, dressing all black Neo. 500 degrees is what I keep it low. <laughs> yeah, the world's free though. Essentially, the core experience of Neuron, honestly. Um, we can get curves or set curves for many cameras that you can switch between by clicking. So, like, why not do that? Let them get another track going and switch between two cameras. I disabled player movement, so I can't. Oh crap, I can walk off the track. So, why is. Player movement uh, not the stable. <laughs> the order of operations. Try to save the movement four.
Well done, San Diego. Y'all got rhythm. Well Players done. Players start to tell me what Bobby kind of uh, is going well to be good. <laughs> After... Let me get into... Brush your teeth. Settle. 
Because otherwise, you're just going to get older and harder and more alone. Are they going to be and more you're going to do everything you can to fill that hole with yes, friends and your career, but the hole uh, doesn't get filled. And one day, you're going to look around and you're going to realize that. Tell me something good, Rob. Rob Roberto Roboto. For looking for it seemed so distant, but I'm here now. I'm touching it. Game mode not overridden. Wow, we can create a game mode. It's We're not beautiful. going to do that at this level. But sometimes I think. What have I achieved? Or can I manage to look on. back on what I've done and smile? Because if I can't edit that motion, like the team is great. I guess I could maybe do another thing. We can't be sure until we go try it. The world in this picture. In this camera? What other options do I have for this save? This player pond. Stable. This thing clearly isn't. Right. That. And also, I'll probably elevate all of this to much higher level script. Because I don't only want to attach this player to that. Um, oh, it feels sick. That, that feeling of having not even. But this is going to work, right? That's so funny. Though. We're going to be relatively tied to this thing. I don't know, I mean, that's neat for if we're using like room scale or something like that. That's not a problem. What is this?
Now I can't move. Disable input is cute, but I want to disable move. Very specific. Specific. Oh, that's a cool sound. Is this the same trap? Hey. Stop active movement? Is move input ignored? Is it is an instance. What is this? Movement. What if I just stopped the max speed and made it zero? Right? Makes more sense. So that's behaving like I want it to. I have to go find where the heck that object is. Or I can attack that object through here. Um, for example, if I have the movement component from that pawn, I would like to not stop active movement, but set acceleration maybe. Um, As I'm getting something like that. Seems quiet. So let's figure that. And as for now, hi. I have no doubt. Um, I'm not sure. You can check this uh, in the back.
wonderful timing. Um, I will say that was pretty cool. Robert Rob, Robert Rob, <laughs> of course, bringing the uh, the hit. Definitely check that guy out, Alan Moore. You know they say less is more. But a lot of plays, good good stuff. We really like Tokyo Ghouls, because I think the next, I don't know, the next few ghouls are going to be What? So I know that if I have a pawn, like, I want to get that component, right? I want this uh, acceleration. have a pawn component get max acceleration. Um, I want to yeah. set the character movement acceleration. Yeah. So the target is going to be this pawn, this component. Podcast, is DJ, come in here. Thanks for tuning in to this week at Chip Tune. On this Good. episode, we're going to be exploring the future of internet dance music, hearing Good. different styles and types of music from musicians all over the world. We're going to get this started with Colorado based musician Aethernaut by way of Japanese Chip Tune label Cheap Beats. <laughs>
target. Talking about camera trap. I'm trying to just modify the player. That's even the editor. But it's gonna stay over the weekend. Bring the server back up. Still need to beat over it. But I can't get the right value out of it. Next, we got a track from a chiptune legend. This one's by Trash80 off his new EP, Thea. <laughs> Callback. 
Right. All of this thing to play and not be able to move. And also attached to this camera thing. Whatever. It's beautiful. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh, uh, this thing's handy. Take this off the TV. I thought this If I want to see the side of what's going on here, what's all this stuff you can see? I'm going to attach a player and say this camera. The other thing that you can do is you can probably like customize this, right? So they have to put a and then you put a player that we're targeting. That is pretty much all the information you need to like, make this particular framework. Uh, so, the next thing that I want to do is attach to actor, maybe in a level blue screen status, and not actually attach to But this version works fine for the purpose of making the orbit work right. But what I actually might want to do is take that up a stage, right, and it's literally a stage that we can actually go from the level blueprint. It's a very similar thing, right? We just have the events that can happen in this stage. One to one, looking good. By default, these things are just. Yeah. But the first thing I want to do is make a list of cameras, right? And I don't know if the level blue screen is here. I don't know, it's probably out there. Where's the level blue screen? That kind of makes me a little select in order to do what I want to do. That's the wrong. Jim Appel, a Chiptune artist I've been following for years and years. Up next, we got a track from Silent Bomber, the new alias from the artist formerly known as Shirobon. Uh, this uh, one is from the Stealthy Peak. I should also define another motion track with another camera actor. So, this guy, what's your name? Uh, camera, maybe like a straightforward.
another seat to be smarter, I think, than having, like, than having these things act in the same way. Alright? So, I want to call this the spiral cam thing. Because that's what it's going to be. That's how it's going to be. We're going to add this spiral cam to the spiral cam. What we're going to call the spiral cam. the new one from Grime Craft. Oh, 
see what's going on here. I can use that curve editor to make my spiral thing way more spirally. by the name of Tokyo Elvis. His new release, Human Music. So let's find this event. And actually, I just want to test this out. So I'm going to print a string. <laughs> that was going to be quick, man. Done. Compile. Save. finally arrived. Did not hear you at all. You need to turn yourself up about 300%. Throw the music down. Crap. Ugh. Okay. Let's go. Come on, me. How is that not loud enough? Mysteries. We will never know. Alright, well, let's uh, turn this back on. That's loud. I just, it doesn't sound right. Just doesn't sound right. Doesn't sound good. Better? Worse? Oh my. You guys are starting off strong. Welcome back, Mouse Dad 64. Nose to 64. 
played some good Mario Kart. Good. Hopefully that's better. I don't know. Let me know. This is, of course, just working music. It's a mix. Uh, I think it's the recent DJ Cutman radio hour. Um, future internet dance music. It's a pretty good set. Listen to DJ Cutman or bug him in our Discord. He's around. <laughs> Oh, no, it's, trust me, it's in the air. I can feel it calling. <laughs> Everywhere you look, it should be on that thing, yeah? Yeah, but we're not using those things. This thing, right? Like, does this thing have to have two of those? I have no idea. What, what is that even? Okay, sure. Cool. Well, let's see if my level blueprint's doing its job. Do, 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 do. So I'm clicking, but I'm not seeing any events. And this is one of the reasons why I don't use the level blueprint thing. Because I bet if I went into my camera actor and did a similar thing, like, uh, let's just copy this from here. Shoot, whatever. Copy. Also, I probably need to click something, honestly. <laughs> this is not the future. Uh, okay. So, maybe this event is not work the way I expected it to. Event tick. Maybe like an input event or something like that? I'm trying to think. Touch, ooh, touch one event. Steam touch. Uh, what else, what else you got? Mint is good for you. Mm -mm -mm. Left mouse button. Yeah. Get all this other crap out of here. It's like kind of creepy, right? You can see who's doing it. Oh, the level blueprint's doing its job with the click woman. Sweet. I'm digging this truck. I like it. That's cute. I like this one. Yeah. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Mm, mm, mm. I used to think I was good at Mario Kart. Look at all this stuff. That's great. All right. Too intense. I need to change the angle of this light.
So let's port all of this stuff over. It's gonna be like, why do I do do that? <sighs> all right. So I can't really target self. So I need to get an actor from a list. It's going to be called Cameron Dix. Cool track. We're going to grab a reference to Cam Index. And we're going to get this guy. What? No, I don't want this to be a list of, of integers. That's, that's not change variable type. There we go. So now you can go here. And what I can do is I can set that so I can increment. Int. And that integer is going to be this guy by default. Um, I want to see if... Uh, let's move all this stuff over here. Good night, Cody would be proud of you, I gotta say. Can't speak for the guy, but that's pretty it's smart. It's in my head. Tokyo Elvis, and we're gonna keep the fun, chill vibes going with a track by a fellow Twitch musician, Popsky. This is off his new release, Showtime 4, and it's called Mittens. Hmm. <laughs> I have I have a similar feeling. Usually it's that I just haven't eaten. Today is one of those days. I think maybe some soup would be pretty easy on the stomach. So I need a condition. I need to see if this thing is greater than the total. So like get uh, array bounds, right? No, well, does bounds of an array mean the number? No, it's talking about the space that those things exist in. That's uh, length, maybe? There we go. Um, so I need to know if... Uh, a reference to this guy. And we're gonna set that guy. In this case. The branch. Uh, if. So the condition. How do I set this up? Condition is true. What is the condition? I want 
to know if... Mm, well, no. So I'm getting the length. And I want to know if the camera index is greater than or equal to the length, right? And if that's true, then we're going to set this to zero. do that before this thing. soup of the poor and the rice of the rich to make soup rice of the middle class. What do I normally eat? Like, what's my cuisine preference? I really like, um, geez, I don't know. I, I like meat. I don't know. I like rice. Uh, I, I like food. I don't have, like, except for, like, maybe Oreos, that, you know? There's, like, a really small list of food that I don't like, obviously, judging by my, uh, corpulence but um I don't know it depends on the season um I like I like Indian food a lot don't like shellfish uh let's see yeah, no I mean like I don't have any food allergies to speak of I just don't like Oreos everything else is pretty game you know That's, that's, it's an okay life, you know, of eating lots of weird stuff. Can't hate it. Alright, so anyway, we're going to say that this event happened just for our sakes. And then I want to check to see if the current camera that we're on, which should start at zero by default, um, is less than, or sorry, is greater than or equal to the length of the array, however many cameras that we have in this list. And if that's false, then I'm going to increment this value. Right? The cam index. However, in the event that that's true, I'm going to set that value to zero. Um, so I want a constant zero. Int. Uh, just Set int. It's this guy. I can basically copy and paste it. Right. I'm gonna set cam index. Here's a new one by my buddy CG5. A little edit I made because I'm hyped for Mario Galaxy. Not Galaxy. Odyssey. A new one. Anyway, here's CG5 remix. Cut man edit. Is this the value? Retrieve the value of the variable you can use instead of a separate git node. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm pretty sure this node will just do that. get cam index every time and that's going to return the actor that is the parent when I click a button the mouse button uh, let's see everything else seems to be working the only thing that I need to make sure that I have in this script now is getting all of the stinking cameras into this list um, 
So is this what I'm looking for? Should this be read as its default configuration if present? No. That's cool though. Um, what's this? So I have zero array elements in cameras. I know that I have two in my scene, right? So I can browse this in the asset browser, right? Right now it's looking for defaults. I really want that guy, right? So I want two cams. I have cam spiral and I have cam straightforward. So let's go with cam spiral for a second. I'll be posting this song on Game Chops real soon if you like it. Since we're in the neighborhood, uh, and I want to pick the actor from the scene. I got another DJ Cut Man tune I love to share with you. I had the pleasure of working with the Sonic Mania composer Ew. T Lopes on this remix that the SNES Mini plays when you're trying to decide what game to play. It's real cute and it also goes a little wild. I hope you like it. <laughs> That is cute. So I have my camera straight. It's one reference. And I have my other camera, which should be over here as well. But my camera straight and my camera curly, or spirally. Right there. Sweet. Let's um, compile and save this. Save everything. Save everything. Thank you. Um... And if it doesn't break, I think it'll work. You know, that's the nature of game development. Something happened. I'm getting my Switch camera effects. I'm also, I feel like getting an error. And maybe I'm wrong. Because this is no longer doing anything, right? After begin play happens, there's no... There's no nothing. That's cool. That's cool. Super Audio Cart has enabled a bunch of crazy folks. I feel the feels. Imaginary lettuce. It tastes great. If you wanted to. Hey. Whoa, Bay John's hanging out on the stream. That's uncommon. No, I'm really not into Oreos. I like shellfish, though. <laughs> How straightforward is the lettuce? It's not straightforward enough. But... I was trying to edit just world's world blueprint. But I know it's here somewhere. But maybe if I play it I can get a sense of what's going on with with our dear thing here. Oh, maybe I can also concatenate out this this value because I should be getting a zero one zero out of this guy. This is purely gray on his new release, Searchlight. So can I also cast? Oh, I I guess I don't really need to do that. I could just do this. So if you go back, you can actually convert an integer to a string using this little dude. Um, I could probably add a string to this. Uh, but it's not important because I just want to know if it's getting the right length of that list in cycling. I guess it makes sense though. Save. I just want to get an error. So I'm getting zero, 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 and zero. All right, so less than or equal to is probably not doing it. Or both of those events are setting it to the wrong thing. But during this set step, I'm not actually setting it to anything. 
I guess it's setting it to its default value. Oh, and here I am as well. So I don't need to do that. Because I need to just increment it. Right? Add one and then set it. So I guess that's working. Okay. So I guess that means that I don't need to do this crazy like long blink thing. It knows that its default value is zero. And that's totally fine. But I think having both of those at the end of the chain was what the problem is. So screw that. So I'm getting zero. And zero. No. It's not a moon. Alright. What else can I do with this thing? Parent class. Level script actor. Neat. We're gonna... How about that, DJ? Different category. Let's put it in the new end category, because that's what it is. Uh... I would love to know also the name of this actor. Because that would give me a good sense of whether this is working or not. So let's split off another event from here. That just lets me know... I mean, obviously it's not working. But I want to know what the heck your issue is. Ah, uh, you... Uh, there we go. Sort of. Convert reference. Do it. Get to explain in. Beautiful. And so that'll print, you know, at the beginning of the... No, 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 no. That's not going to work. We're going to do that, I guess, after this guy. Can I have a branching function? No. I guess we can have both of these things do that. I'll get rid of this. Okay. Say hi to YouTube. Hi YouTube. I'm lonely. Send help. If you're digging these tunes as much as I am, be sure to check out DJ Cutman. If you don't know about this DJ, He's like the DJ that, that cuts the Cutman. Big deal. Some Cryptopia. But this week in Chiptunes, it might be what we're listening to right now. Yes, it is. Episode 196. It's pretty good stuff. Oh. But yeah, Vejan, isn't it obvious? Okay, so it's giving me the right name of the camera. It's doing its job, but it isn't actually incrementing. I think that's because of this guy. But you can see debugging, you know, by print kind of takes a little bit of backtracking. But I'm getting M index to zero. I guess maybe... Let's change this out. I need an integer greater than or equal to... Let's just step this through for a second. Alright. So what is this condition? I want you to be greater than who, are, who you are. I want to know if this value. 
<laughs> oh yeah, no, there's nothing. Like it'll it'll tell you most of the time because it has very, it's like very specifically cast um, objects. Even though they only have a few colors that describe what they're looking for, um, for like I guess different types, right? But Unreal has like a ton of different types. Like if I add a variable and you're like, oh, Boolean, that's fine. Yeah. Oh, some basic types. And then you go through like, oh, wait a minute. There are 700 different types of structs that this thing uses. Okay, fine. Well, that, that's that's not a big deal. You know, we don't use a struct. We use like an object reference. Okay, cool. And then each of these has, right, like, uh, so a lot of the nodes that exist in Blueprints are going to be kind of specifically cast and it feels kind of janky to work with. I'm not, I'm not a big fan, but you know, it does its job. I really don't need this print step anymore because I know it's doing something, but I'm still going to keep it around to evaluate. Really, actually no, let's do this. So I'll get rid of that branch because I want to know really the name of the camera. Um, that means I don't need to do this weird cast thing. Um, I need so I have a list of cameras. I need the length of the list, and I want to compare it to the current index, right? So I guess we would say less than, right? If the camera index is less than the length. Because less than or equal to is true. And I'll have to switch these return values. So this guy. Cool. So if it is less than or equal to the length, then we're going to... I guess I have to increment it first. Right? Before I compare it. So let's copy that note over. Do, do. So we'll replace that node with that node. If the incremented value is less than or equal to the length of our list here, then we'll go on to this section. Uh, if that's true, then what? Great. And if that's false, then we'll set it to zero. This track is I guess it's the way to go. I don't know. I'm just trying to get two names low. back. Sorry about that. Um, because this do I have to do an output value? Retrieves the value of the variable the can use it instead of a separate get node. That's Skyrise fine. Of that was better, right? But I know that it's going to increment twice. I'm kind of expecting an out of range error. Yeah, it's good. It's good in there. I got the first thing fixed. What I'm trying to do now is cycle between cameras. Which I know is already solved, but like, yeah, just building it up. Oh, okay. This like, this is just the input. Uh, I'm not changing. I'm not changing camera control. I'm just making it so I can click through cameras that exist. Interesting. Show me the projects. But I'm a smelly boy that needs to shower. That's okay. I have no idea what the uptime is for this stream. But we're coming to the end of it. Okay. So, let's see here. This is cool. Interesting. Uh, 
Alright. So I'm getting the player, the, the actor name here. I'm just not feeling right about this thing. Does this ever actually occur? What the? Eat. Eat as in food. I want to see if this threshold is ever actually coming up. I mean, we can actually visually like watch the script do its thing, right? Uh, I think it's Shift F1 to get my mouse cursor back. So every time you click, you can see this happening. Right, so that's actually working. It's doing what I want it to do, right? Which is cool. Flow charts, my enemy. Link Waker, that's right. Or well, just debugging a little bit of blueprint scripts. Because that works. And then that works. And so if this is true, then that means that the value of... Here, I can prove this. Um, that the value of this guy is actually what we want it to be. And I can prove that here as well. By just getting it from whatever source. Instead of actually getting the string, we're gonna convert it up, uh, compile and save. And so I can play from here, we can watch this thread happening. I'm getting one and zero. So that means that I want camera one and then camera zero. And what's not happening, is what is this disable all screen messages to suppress no i don't care about that um so i'm getting this alternating thing on mouse press which is good because that's the the index of these cameras right um and so in either case what i would want to do is actually trigger this function again I can begin play will put me on a certain track, but I can't actually jump to the whoa. I can't actually jump to that track without let's just essentially instantiate what's going on here. Right? So both of these outcomes are going to trigger the same events. And the difference being that the parent actor is going to be this object, right? So, here we go. This isn't confusing at all! What the f- I want this nose, man. Believe in me. Ew. Cool. So that's not too bad, right? With visual scripting, you can at least see what the thing is that you want. And you can kind of- some things have more values- more information than others. But I have an initialized event on begin play that's going to give me the default camera in the scene, zero. Right? So like all of you, and then I have an interactive version of that event that is going to, you know, do its job. It gets that, it's the same functionality except now I'm using this index over here to pull from my list of cameras and um, I'm just going to assume it works. Cool. I'm not attached, now I'm attached. So there are a couple of things that we have to adjust. But let's watch that work in our scene. And keep an eye on where that player is. So if I look for Pawn... Um, where is it? Default Pawn? Would be complete without a little bit of happy Minimal hardcore. default editor. Called somewhat derogatorily Nightcore on YouTube, I, this kind of music started as a joke, but it has made it deep into my heart. I love this tempo, I love this style, and this remix... Where's that other... Hold on a sec. I don't see that other mesh actor. It should be moving in a spiral. It's highly likely that I didn't actually make this thing play automatically. So let's have a look at your cutscene. 
whatever that is called you spiral can of sequence is not on autoplay huh and it's not looping indefinitely so like there's that you know um cool save that play that now i'm attached to the other camera whoa now i'm attached to the first camera and the issue is it's working right because i'm moving straight or if i click i'm moving in a spiral but i need to reset um when i'm repairing to it because right now it's relative um i need to reset the location of this target right the target player so attached to actor I want to set location in this step, right? Um, so here we go. I can't really move myself at the beginning, so let's set location. Uh, set inverse transform location. No, 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 no. World origin location. Man, you are just messing with my heart. Location, add actor local world offset, get actor, set actor location. And this actor location, um, I guess we could do it in this chain. It really doesn't matter because we're just making it enable to move at that point. So I can actually do this. All right, and the new location is going to be the location from our camera or our parent actor. So wherever this guy happens to be, we're gonna get location. Right? And we're gonna stuff that right into there. Um, and that's good. Cause like I said, we can't move. So when we change, it's just gonna set it to the position of the other camera. And I think we're good for today. I think we came in on time. I don't know what time it actually is, but yeah, 506, that's not too bad. That's, that's a good stream. Whoa, I'm spiraling. Whoa, I'm not spiraling. I'm spiraling. I'm not spiraling. Whoa, I'm spiraling. And I can still look around. And trust me, when I press the WASD keys, nothing happens. I can't jump. But this is a, a very core functionality of Neuron, basically, is being able to switch between different tracks and set pieces. And, uh, you know, that's pretty much how you do it. A little bit of scripts, a little bit of trial and error. Um, but otherwise it works pretty well. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, flow charts by enemy. I might come back and play some games this evening. I don't know. Let me know what you want to play. Hit me up on the Twitter at uh, Nick's Bradley or on Discord if you don't know what that's about. Um, this is fun though. This is a good stream. I did what I set out to do in a set amount of time. That was good. So uh, if you have any questions or you want me to cover any specific thing in an upcoming stream, tomorrow is a little help where we do music and stuff all dang day, uh, including a one-hour competition, so tell your friends about that. Um, we're into music over here. I think it's a tracker week, so I know a lot of people are really into that kind of thing. Let me stop the game here. I want to run it in this view so we can see our flowchart doing its thing. Um, Alright, so the beginner, the begin tick ran, this chain happens and switches to this camera, the same chain, ha chain happens and switches to the other camera, and then it cycles back. It's beautiful! Notice it keeps our orientation, which is useful in VR. Kind of. Anyway. So much for telling me what to do and not to. I guess I'll just let that kind of roll out. Thank you guys so much. My name's Ben. Uh, good streaming with you. I'll see you soon, yeah? Yeah.